Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Incubator. Today we're playing some Stonehurf. Welcome to Rockside. Fantastic. It's looking pretty good right now, I would say. I always... I feel like there's some free intros I go for. You know what? That's also one of the intros. Explaining my intros is also one of the intros, or at least the, uh, the tangent. Not necessarily tangent, but the transition from intro to actual explanation of what's going on. I, I'm not really too sure. Anyway, welcome to Rockside. <laughs> pretty good. I, I like the analysis right there. I feel pretty content with that. We have yet to install this uh, cobblestone fence for some reason. I'm not too sure why. There seems to be some neglect going on from our herflings, I believe they're called. I'm not too sure about that. Which is pretty unfortunate. We did complete this uh, lovely little cottage right here. It's got a very nice sort of fence around here. We're going to make like a little garden here. Like, oh, that sounds fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and this is going to be really stupid use of resources. In fact, we shouldn't do this. We really shouldn't do it, but I'm probably going to do it anyway. Oh, wow. There's a lot we really need to do. Uh, the game is a bit buggy in this state, so it looks like at the moment we're only really going to be building houses. I'm going to try and expand this wall, I think. It might be a good idea to make sure we have at least some form of defense, just to make it look a little bit more homely. That will involve cheating. Someone did post... Oh, no, I forgot to get the names. That's really... I don't think we have any more people to name. I, I have a list of names, and for some reason I always forget to put it up before recording. So let's just double check to see if anyone is even going to be named. Unfortunately, I have so many uh, I can only have so many people before the game starts lagging out. So I'd rather just um not get any more. Let's see. Now, we've got a name for everyone right now. So I do apologize for those people that did want to be named. Unfortunately, we just don't have the uh, the amount of people. St Timber and stone's a bit different cuz you can get 50 people without really having any issues. You might have a few bugs here and there, but it's nowhere near as severe after 21 people on Stonehurf. Alpha is alpha, blah 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 blah, back to the real world. <laughs> here we go. I feel like I'm living in some sort of fantasy world. However, as you can see, we've got ourselves some uh, beautiful front uh, frost snap planters right here, which you know, what we're trying to do right now is create all of the sort of interesting buildings for the classes. Trying to make them look a little bit different. You know, when I look at this, I don't really think... I don't really think that it's the weavers. But I think it's something different, something special. So I go and look what it is. And as you can see, it is in fact the weavers. Pretty fantastic. I love these signs. I'm not too sure. Well, I know why. It's because they're they're just very well done. I just... I like the the work and the detail there. It's very nice. The chains specifically. I don't know. Just I like the way it clips onto that little board right there. It's nice. It's nice, okay? Yeah, I'm going to go on about this for forever and ever. There's some hovering... Hovering tables right there, which is not great. However, we've got a bunch of these curtains and comfortable rugs, comfortable beds, that kind of thing. It's very nice to see. So hopefully we'll be able to help furnish some of the indoor areas of our houses. We've still got these uh, really terrible, terrible beds in here, which I'm going to get rid of and turn into comfortable beds. Also, is there any, like, tapestries that we have? I feel like a tapestry in here is going to be something that we desperately need. It looks like there are not. However, there are doors. Uh, well, not doors, but there are... Oh, well, you know what? Before I do that, let's just go ahead and make like a bunch of tapestries because they are fantastic looking. I want to have just them all over the place. It's unfortunate that they don't have a different image because they are just very nice looking. So we need bundles of fiber. We have quite a few of those. We have our storage shed right here for all of our non-fibery stuff and we have a bunch of fiber over here. So let's just go ahead and make, uh, what, 10, 10 tapestries? There we go. We'll make 10 of those. We'll move this up. We'll take this away. We'll eventually get 10 tapestries. In fact, we've got enough right here with all the silk bundles. Unfortunately, you have to walk quite the distance, so it's probably going to take the entire episode to make 10 tapestries. However, there we go. We also created... Oh, I'm going all over the place right now. We also created our carpenters right here, which I quite like. It's, it's simple. That's what we're really going for at the moment, just simple builds. This is like the most complex thing we've built so far, and it took way too long. And it, it looks quite ugly in some areas, just because we couldn't really use the full potential of the... Of the, uh, uh, the, what the hell is it? The design items. Let's call it the, de the design items. Being the, the doors and windows is very much needed. And also, for some reason, they won't build the fences here. But they will put the lights. The inside looks fine, though, because there is an eaten area. And it's a random sign for some reason. And there are a few indoor areas that, for some reason, are not being created. I'm not really too sure why that is the case. However, it is. That does remind me that we need to get our carpenters to start creating some cool stuff. I like the indoors of the carpenters. We just need to get these uh, braziers in here. And then it should look pretty fantastic. I like the... The, um... What the hell is it called? I just forgot. <laughs> it's... Well, it's obviously that I forgot. But, uh, fireplace! There we go, I got there in the end. <laughs> there you go. My ability to remember and then just completely forget about words. Really showing itself right there. So we need to go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of armor. 
shields specifically because we can sell them for quite a lot at traders that then we'll be able to buy certain materials off of for ridiculously cheap prices in comparison. The value right now is pretty much amazing. It's weird how I pretty much just do this instead of making them myself. myself. But there you go, myself is what I just said there. So let's see what we have. We have the carpenters, the blacksmiths, the weavers, and the masons. So we pretty much have every shop right now, which is pretty great. We don't actually have a sign for... Uh, well, we, we plan to get a sign for our blacksmiths, but apparently we don't have anything going on right there. Tell you what, let's uh, go ahead and make a sign real quick while we're at it. We just go down here, make another blacksmith sign. I think we need to make two of these. There we are. I don't really like the blacksmiths too much. I think I've said that in the past. It just looks quite ugly. <laughs> it's... It's not great. I don't think it really shows itself off enough, really. I mean, this bit has a lot of work to be done. Also, it's just it's just plain. <laughs> it's it's really weird. Also, I don't like what's going on here. There should be one block in. Very strange looking. But there you go. That is the world that we live in. I still like the fountain. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't, obviously, the water's not moving, but it looks like the water would be moving. You know, just think about it. Be a part of it for a second. It's pretty great. So we should probably get round to telling our herflings right here, just create a few more of these houses that we did create in the last episode, but didn't actually fully build. Uh, what ones do we want to create? At the moment, we're just trying to sort of make a town now. I just want to have the full townscape before we go to Alpha 10. I'm just waiting for Alpha 10 to come out right now, which is why I'm taking so long. Uh, well, why this series is still going on. So we're going to build this house. Hopefully we won't have any issues with that. We're try I'm trying not to cheat as much as possible. In Alpha 10, I shouldn't have to because the herflings pretty much can build anything, which is really good to see. They've definitely changed the design functionality there. So I'm looking forward to building some uh, wacky, easy to create buildings, which also have a little bit of detail here and there. We did have a few problems in the test build, but is the test build for a good reason? They have fixed a few bugs, including the scaffolding bug. That was a little while ago now, though. That was a little while ago when they fixed that bug. Hmm. But there you go. I'm, I feel like I'm babbling on a little bit. So we should probably go ahead. This is such an ugly design. <laughs> For a wall. There's too much going on. And, well, I don't think there's too much going on. I think it's just too bold. All of the designs right now, for some reason I've missed the block here. But all of the all that we have right here is too bold and we don't really differentiate too much. Like, I would like it if I made these pillars a different color or at least a slightly different shade than the actual chains that we have right here. I just think it would have been a good idea. For now, though, I'm just going to go ahead and make a, probably a wall surface. I think that's really all I need to make. We have to get rid of some of these trees, though. So let's go ahead and cut down these trees. It looks like it can roughly... Let's see if we... Yeah, there we go. So it's going to make it to about here. That should be fine if we just angle it a little bit so that it goes against that wall. As for this side right here, this is going to end up angling like this. So if we just go ahead and get rid of any trees that are in the immediate vicinity, looks like roughly this length right here. A couple small and big trees right here. Very nice to see. This will be our wall. We're going to wall ourselves off completely like this. Just to make it feel a little more like a town. That's really it. We have our farming district right here. Which still, unfortunately, no one wants to really build these cobblestone fences. Something tells me it's because they're too far away. At the moment, they're all sort of placed over here. Unless I'm not making cobblestone fences. Nope, they are They are a cobblestone fence. That is definitely the truth right there. Also, for some reason, they've just sort of given up on these braziers. I forgot there's like a weird... You can see, like, some of the blocks surrounding the fire effects. I'm not sure what you would call that. But it feels like there's some uh, some bug right there. <laughs> not necessarily a bug, but just an animation problem that perhaps needs to be a little bit looked at. Anyway. Mm. Uh, anyway. We are here now. This is basically it. <laughs> now we're just waiting for our herflings to really get things done. Uh, let's just double check. How many of these fences do we have? We have a few. Not really too much, I would say. What we could do is just sort of do some random fencing here and there. I like the random fences. I'm not too sure. Wait, it makes this house look a lot more cozy and this walkway a lot more cozy as well. So we should really just do more things like this. Uh, where do we want this next one, though? We can have it along here. I don't mind that. Hmm. Yeah, along there. Along here is not bad, but I think I want to really, like, close this place off completely, to be honest. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Hopefully, anyway, they, they're pretty weird when it comes to their selections. Like, sometimes they don't want to do it. So, oh, okay. Once again, the rotation, you know, hotkey would be nice to change. Because um, I keep clicking R to rotate. I should make a road that goes towards this. It's probably, no, no R. No R right now. If I, in fact, I'm not going to make a road that goes toward it. Instead, I'm just going to make two conveniently placed gates. And that will be that. Um, for some reason, there is a gate there. 
I'm not too sure why. We're going to live with it. <laughs> We're not going to live with it. I choose not to live with it. All right. And uh, can I, like, drag? No, I can't. It'd be great if I could do that in the future. In the future. The future is bleak and the future-y. I like it. It's a good future, if you ask me. Let's see. Oh, this uh, fits perfectly. There we are. Uh, that doesn't. It will now. It will now. All right, so I think along here, we can't really go diagonally uh, without it looking weird. So we're just going to have to go ahead and have it go along like this. Oh, I think we've run out of fences. Okay, we've run out of our selections right here for our fences. So at the moment, we all we have is this. This is fine. This seems a little bit out of place, but it connects with our fence, which is why it's slightly angled off the natural direction the road is going. So I think that's fine. Uh, apparently, someone has arrived to sell us stuff. I like it. This is the reason why we're here. We want to go ahead and sell these shields. Hopefully, we actually made them. Apparently, we didn't. Yeah, I guess the carpenters don't really want to do anything anymore. I'm looking forward to Alpha 10, you know. I'm looking forward to the fresh start. We've been on this one for a while. We could sell leather for a little bit, but it's not really worth it by likes of things. We've got, like, one shield. Did they just make that? It's always been one shield. I, actually, I, did, I didn't actually see that shield. I jumped to conclusions, but no, they still haven't made anything anyway. We've got a bunch of these beds. We've not got much gold at all, really. I'm not really too sure where to go here. I mean, we've got upgraded worker outfits. You know, we could sell them for a little bit. We've got a bunch of jerky. I guess we can sell the leather. We've probably got a bunch of that still. Yeah, okay. We've got a bunch of leather here. A bunch of leather here. We don't need this leather. It's a waste. Well, it's not a waste, but I'd rather not have leather. Oh, yep. Okay. Get out of here. How much steel do we have? Is that steel? We've got nine steel. That's not bad. We can actually go ahead and probably make ourselves a decent piece of git. Well, then again. Maybe not. Oh, someone else has arrived to sell us wares. Oh, yep. Oh, crap. I didn't actually buy any... I just sold stuff. I didn't buy any stuff. Um, <clears throat> Let me start that again. <laughs> I just sold... <laughs> Help me. I'm stuck. Oh, and apparently this guy's here. We could probably buy some bird baths, but apparently I've heard there's a bit of bugs with a few bugs with those. So I don't think I'm gonna bother. That's all fine. That's all nice and done. We got 85 uh, hunks of stone. I was gonna buy some stone then, but I guess there's no point if that's the case. Just a bunch of people sort of roaming around here. No one's really started building the house. Why is that? Uh, daily update. We don't want to actually go through that because more people would be sort of screwing around right there. Hmm. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Okay, this might be a short playthrough. <laughs> this might be a bit shorter. This might be just a 40-minute session for me. Because I feel like it's a good idea to uh, sort of finish off this season. Not, well, is it a season? It's a town, really. I do it by towns, not by seasons. Because I'll probably have a few seasons otherwise. But, uh, but yeah. It looks like the AI has just slowly started to die off. It makes sense. It does have sort of a, a bit of... Oh, no, they're cutting down the trees. Maybe that's why they stopped for a little while. Maybe they got to finish cutting down the trees. I'm jumping to conclusions, obviously. But the game is fairly old. Like, my town is fairly old now. So the AI is starting to sort of degrade away. <laughs> it's starting to be like, no, I can't do it anymore. I do not want to put cobblestone fences around those sheep. I'm glad I've got sheep. I mean, Neri is pretty content with keeping these sheep in sheeping order. At least, they, you know, Neri can't see anything too revealing about the, uh, the sheep. That's pretty good right there. I, mean, I do apologize. I'm having a few uh, burps here and there. I'm trying to make them silent, but I bet every now and then you're hearing like a... It's really weird. The guards, though, they're looking pretty swish. They've got, like, high-level shields. We should go and check on our blacksmith, who's probably not high enough to make any armor. Nope, they are not. And they're too slow in making these steel ingots. I'm pretty sure these kind of things will be improved. Um, pretty much all we can do now, though. Like I said, probably going to be a, sort of a shorter session, just because I think it's a good idea to just go away from the rock side and wait until Alpha 10 comes out. I'll probably play, like, a mini game or something like that to take up the time during that. Or I'll get lucky and it'll come out next week. <laughs> so there we go. That's what I'm hoping for, you know, crossing my fingers right now. Because I'm, I'm really looking forward to Alpha 10. I'm not sure if anyone else is really noticing that. But I am looking forward to playing some Alpha 10. I know I could right now, don't get me wrong, but w whenever it updates... I'd have to restart the series, basically, because I would be playing an outdated version. And I can't go back on that version because it only gives you either the full release version, not really full release, but the, the stable version or the unstable version. It won't give you a specific version of your selection. There you go. It would be nice if Steam had that sort of functionality, but unfortunately it does not. Ah, look, they're building now. 
They're just taking a little while. There we go. We just have to wait. We just had to wait for them to finish um, with this mess. Unfortunately, we can't necessarily build this wall because all this wood's in the way. Oh, what do you want, Mo? Hey, what do you want? He's on my shoulder right now. I'm not sure if you can hear him. Come on, then. Come on, then. There you go. He's calm today, isn't he? He's nice. It's nice. I like it when he's calm. You know, he's, he's more adventurous. It's good. He just explores the room. So we want to go ahead and just have... Actually, we don't want to do this too much because it might bug out. There we go. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and build what we can. Is that in... That is exactly in the way. That is a pain right there. Listen, Trapper, Jared, do your job, man. Get this fox out of here before it's too late. The fox is like, help me. Ah. He's probably going to escape eventually. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So we should probably go ahead and just make a few more houses. What I'm probably going to do is... <laughs> Uh, at the end of this episode, I'm probably just going to cheat in all the houses and all the stuff that we make. Just so we can see what it would have looked like. Um, I do apologize, I might add, for all this, you know... I, I, I always put the quotations whenever I say cheating. Because you, you can't really get too far unless you cheat. <laughs> so, like, really, when you think about it. Because the AI goes off and on all the time. Once again, I, I keep criticizing the game, which is very annoying. I just have a very critical way of thinking. Which is... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't really apologize for it so much. It's quite a neat thing to have. So, no, I'm not going to lie. I just, I don't get into the whole hype train, as it were, as uh, everyone else. Well, I don't, I don't mean everyone else does, since no one else does as well. But um, there are a few people that do. Uh, I don't know. Being, being critical. There we go. I like it. So, we're going to go ahead and continue talking about my uh, ethics right there, <laughs> which is uh, pretty good, I would say. I'm not sure if this is the right color. Uh, block. So we're about to find out really if our dreams are coming alive or not. All right, as you can see, this is when we have to sort of angle off a little bit. So to do that, what we want to do is make a block right here. Is that too big? That That's a bit too big. And let's undo that. Let's do it like this instead. There we go. Much better. And it's about the same width. So it's very good. You know, when you look at this, actually that feels... If I cut that part off, it should be able to. Like, so if I do it like this. Well, the, but the other way around. So it would be like this. Alright, if I do it like that. And then just get rid of these. That looks right to me. But at the same time, now it feels a bit too narrow. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm not really going to go nuts with all of the... Oh, balls. <laughs> well, this ain't good. Can I, I can build over these. No, 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 I did not know that. So I continue onwards. Unfortunately, we have to sort of do this the long way. But that's fine. Because if we do it very carefully and very quickly, we shouldn't have too much of a bother. So if we just do it from this corner right here. And then we do it from the other side. We've got to make sure our selections are right. Otherwise, we're running into a few troubles. There we are. Beautiful. Along here. I'm not sure what game to uh, play, really. Um, I've been feeling like playing a bit of FTL. I'm not too sure why. I was sort of uh, discussing with a friend the other day about sort of what kind of uh, videos I'm really m making at the moment. Because I, I, I say we're a creative channel, but um, I still sort of try and play the games that I like. Well, I, well <laughs> that's not to say the games I'm currently play playing I don't like. Because, I mean, I'm one of the people that particularly enjoy this kind of genre. But, uh, you know, there's not many of this particular kind of genre. And I want to sort of have a little bit more of a, a bigger palette, as it were. So I'm not really too sure. I've been thinking about it ever since the chat. Just sort of like, maybe I should play other style of games that are not necessarily like Killing Floor. Not like that. Not really multiplayer kind of games, but maybe just uh, the kind of thing where you can still influence the world, just in a... Di like Skyrim and stuff like that. I wouldn't necessarily play Skyrim because it's quite old now. But The Witch is coming out. Uh, might be something I'd give a go. I'm not too sure. I, I played a little bit of Witcher 2. Um, I got a little bit bored of it, to be honest with you. I'm not too sure why. I think I'm just not the kind of person that doesn't really pay attention to the story too much, unless it's really unique. The Witcher's never felt like a unique story to me, or a unique series. It's been cool, like it's a cool series, but I feel like they've got a lot of themes in there that are sort of ham-fisted, and a lot of controversies that are sort of normal to, you know, like the whole racism of... Uh, the racism aspect towards uh, medieval-type fantasy games. 
with the whole like, oh, they're elves and they're dwarves. We're human. We're the perfect being. That kind of thing. Um, it's not necessarily there. I mean, it's not necessarily black and white. Don't get me wrong. It never is. But uh, it just feels like a trope. Myself. Um, that's like one thing, though. I also just uh, just found it a little bit repetitive. The combat was quite repetitive, so that might be the, something that I don't like in the wild hunt. But I might forgive it if, um, you know, with the way that weapons and armor and that lot work and how expansive the game is supposedly, well, how expansive the game supposedly is. I'm, now I'm currently talking about my thoughts on uh, The Witcher, which will be irrelevant once the video is actually older. Uh, also, I haven't played it, so I'm not going to make any proper criticisms. This is about The Witcher 2. Don't get me wrong, I did enjoy my time playing it, but um, I have quite a low attention span, unfortunately. Well, eh, not necessarily so. I mean, I am a person that builds a lot in Minecraft. I guess I shouldn't say that I have a... Well, used to build a lot in Minecraft. I guess I shouldn't say I have a low attention span. Just uh, different tastes, I suppose, it really is. Not, not saying it's a bad game. It's an incredible game. It's beautiful. And, you know, even though I have my fair share of criticisms of the story... That's just my personal preference and not really, you know, subject to the grand scheme or grand opinion of uh, the game itself. I do think it's an incredible title, just uh, not my taste.